I'd like to look at uh, three plays that were um, just inside the fourth quarter uh, on defense, three back-to-back -back plays, uh, beginning at the 14 minute, 22 second mark. Um, it's a really nice defensive series, and uh, it's worth noting that uh, once we turned the ball over here uh, and forced them to punt, uh, they didn't see it. Seattle did not see the football for nine minutes after that. Our uh, offense held the ball from 1247 to 347, uh, and Seattle from that point had a play, uh, and that, of course, was the Marlon Humphrey pick. Um, so let's look at these three plays. It's first and 10. Uh, Seahawks are at their own 38. We'll watch this play. Pretty big hole, uh, and he picks up eight yards. Um, the Seahawks come, out, Seahawks come out in 12 personnel. They have two tight end here. Um, and the Ravens are thinking run. They have, on the back end, they have a, a cover three look. Uh, so the Seahawks have a receiver out wide to either side, and Chuck Clark is the uh, deep. Uh, middle of the field safety. Um, you can watch Bynes come in and, and pick up uh, a gap here and kind of close that off. Uh, the back reads that. Um, you can see uh, Michael, not Michael Pierce, Brandon Williams here, sort of triple teamed off the ball. You know, the, each of these blockers are going to get off of him, but watch what happens when they do. Watch him demolish 55. Uh, yeah, just pretty violent in terms of the shed there, and then get after the ball carrier. So he's got, at one point, three blockers on him, trying to move him, and he holds up there. <laughs> he's probably got his hands inside 55 here, because you can see 55 all, already is getting uh, uh, ripped. Yeah, that's just violent, man. Watch, watch how low um, Brandon is there. You see that, how he gets under 55, engages him, gets rid of him, Finds the ball carrier, uh, really makes him cut that back, put his foot in the ground. To this side, you have um, LJ Fort working B gap. Um, both Brandon Carr and Earl are really kind of with eyes on these tight ends here. Um, once they read run, that changes. But you see LJ kind of moved out of the play, but I want you to watch his effort uh, and his eyes. You know, you can still see him reading the backfield here. And uh, he doesn't give up on the play. Even though it's, I believe he sees it go away from him, he's going to work back to get in B-gap. And he's, you know, he's out of the play. He's pushed out of the play. But the effort's great there. Um, Pierce is always good this way. He's singled up. He's probably A-gap to the side. But you can see him start to read the, the, the play in the backfield as he's, as he's engaged. And he's not quite able to get off this, this uh, center to, to get in on this play. Probably a little bit of a hold here that stops him from doing so. Um, so in any case, pretty good, pretty good pickup for Seattle here. Uh, you can see Earl come down and help. And there's Chuck coming from, I wish I had the overhead. I didn't record that, but coming way downfield after that run. Uh, as I said, initially they're in cover three with him pretty deep. You can see an extra tackle uh, lined up here, a tight end to this side. Two wide receivers in a tight splits here, staggered or stacked. Um, and to the strong side, this extra tackle. Um, it's second down and two. And the Ravens actually force him to lose, I think, two yards here. Very good assignment, sound football. Uh, let's watch Pierce first. Pierce just kills it. Uh, this is, looks like a designed A-gap run here to that side. And Pierce isn't going to have that. Not only does, watch, he destroys this uh, uh, center. Finds the ball, but watch as he sheds, how he shuffles into that gap. You also see Brandon coming off the, the edge there. Brandon is uh, at 5-tech strong side here. And this, I can't make out this guy's jersey number. I think that's 50. Not sure who that is. But anyway, he's going to work inside with Brandon working outside. Ultimately, he gets moved. Brandon works back inside. And the combination of uh, Pierce and Williams coming after you must be uh, not very appealing. 
Um, so great, great play all day by these two. Uh, I like Chuck on this a lot. Here's Chuck. Effectively kind of B-gap player here. But then watch him scrape all the way to the A-gap. So he, I think what I like about Chuck is here is he's just finding the ball carrier and, and finding the right gap. Filling the right gap. And that combination of these three guys is going to force this uh, further outside. Uh, Ferguson knows he's got help on this run. Again, something I always like seeing is him or whoever finding the ball carrier. Uh, pretty confident here uh, in that in his ability to shed, and that's what he does. Look, it's as if he's working him back inside too. He works the tight end inside into that gap. You see that? See how he moves him physically into that gap? Sheds, chases, and ultimately it's it's. Uh, He's a part of that tackle. Marlin gets in on it. And um, Marlin, like we said, is lined up. You can see uh, lined up man-to-man -man here versus Tyler. You see Chuck, Brandon, Earl, really conscious, probably even Vines, conscious of uh, these three receiver types to this side. Should this be a pass? Uh, Peter's out wide. But everybody really flows, uh, gets in a gap. Beats their man here. Just really good run defense. You can see uh, Brandon coming down to fill too. Um, and then and then Marlin reading run. He's going to hold up the receiver. Easily sheds him. That's not much effort by that receiver, but Marlin beats him. Big play. Second down and two. Which again. Third down play here, and the, and the Ravens get off the field. Um, big big stop because, as we uh, talked about earlier, the off, Ravens offense didn't give the ball back for nine clock minutes. Uh, kept the ball for nine minutes on the next drive. Um, Ferguson, really just great play on this. We'll talk about this. Great play by Ferguson. There's other stuff going on that we want to highlight, but He's really what makes this work on a number of levels. The first thing you see is Ferguson at the line. Um, going to fake, fake a rush, then he's going to drop. And you can see uh, Wilson is going to want this slant. He's going to want this slant. I believe that's with Carr. Uh, and you can see Carr's beat. There's separation there. Watch how natural... Ferguson is dropping here. Watch how he reads the quarterback. Watch, watch how he drops and cuts off that slant. And it's that combination of the pressure and, and uh, Jalen Ferguson in that throwing lane. You see, you see Russell Wilson wants it, but Jalen gets in that throwing lane. And even though there's separation between the outside receiver and uh, Brandon Carr, it's not there. Does he have time to throw it? I think he does. You see him pump, you stop his throw there because of Jalen. Now, that's not where the, the play leaves off. That's where we leave the play off for Jalen, but watch him from this perspective. Fakes his rush. Drops back. Gets underneath this route effectively. And then he's really uh, playing contain very, very well because you can see Bynes nearly wraps this up, but Ferguson doesn't give up on this play at all. Reads the escaping Wilson and just hauls it. You see that? See him working after Russell Wilson. What I love here is violence, right? Violence. And it's, and it's his hitting of uh, Wilson's throwing arm and knocking him off balance that makes this throw. I mean, it's amazing. This throw just, just about gets there anyway. Uh, the broadcasters picked up on this, and it's true. They would have flagged him here. Uh, so it's really smart. He kind of just allows his body not to fall. Uh, upon the quarterback, but he kind of rolls to the side there, and he doesn't wrap, but just violent in, in his uh, effort, and uh, very intentional in how he wants to stop this throw. Uh, it's really a big play, I think, for the rookie. Um, Bynes, where are you? Okay, Bynes is lined up inside there, inside too. 
Uh, he works a stunt uh, with the intention of getting. Oh, that's Fort. Fort free here. So both both linebackers in the A gap here. Nice job. Really nice job by Vines. Kind of works so that um, Fort can come free, but he just continues to move move that uh, center out of the play and just rolls off of him. Flushes Wilson. Wilson's really, really, you know, slippery here. He almost gets the sack. You can see on that play, Brandon reads slant too. He kind of identifies that. You see him dive after the the uh, non-existent throw there. Just good football, good football, and good football by the rookie. Uh, what else is going on up front? Judon drops. Yeah, it's that double A gap that makes him flush, and then Ferguson that really delivers the blow. Watch it again in uh, full full rhythm. <laughs> 